And now, on with the show. Delaney Reynolds strongly believes that kids get it. Delaney is here to share her sink or swim project. Sea level rise threatens our entire planet. As Earth becomes warmer and the ice in Greenland and Antarctica melts, our oceans are rising higher and higher. This is an issue that is going to define our generation, and it will be up to you and me to solve the problem. Tonight, I would like to talk to you about how you can help right now, no matter how young you are. But before I tell you how you can get involved, I want to show you something. Well, you've actually already seen it. It's me. I'm five feet two inches tall. Most scientists predict that seas will rise three feet by the time that I'm about 60 years of age. This is three feet in relation to my body. Scientists also predict that by 2100, seas could rise six to 10 feet. That's here and way up there, I would be submerged. That's a huge problem that I need your help to solve. To explain how you can help, how you can find your passion, I want to explain how I found mine. I was born here in Miami, and I split my time between this city of a few million people on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean and a 1,000-acre island called No Name Key that has just 43 solar-powered homes on it. I guess you could say that my life is surrounded by water, and that's where my love for marine biology and nature comes from. My interest in the environment led me to write, illustrate, and publish three books on ecology topics when I was in elementary and middle school. And about two years ago, I began working on a new book, this one geared towards young adults about climate change. And along the way, I have met many wonderful people, including scientists, business owners, and policymakers, all of which who have taught me about the science of sea level rise. And that work, something that I call the Sink or Swim Project, is why I am here with you tonight. What initially began as research for a book evolved into an educational initiative in which I present lectures about sea level rise to schools all over South Florida, to elementary, middle and high schools, colleges, even adult groups. I also just did one by Skype to a school in India as part of the project, I have written and illustrated a comic book entitled, Where Did All of the Polar Bears Go? that tells the story of what might happen if we don't solve this problem. If you are in attendance tonight, you will receive a copy of this comic book, and I hope that you will share its message with your friends. The toy bears and penguins that I have designed are used as a metaphor about the problem and what might happen if we don't change our behaviors. I've also created a website, MiamiSeaRise.com, that is filled with information and ways to get involved, even a blog that I write. The response to all of this, to the Sink or Swim project and MiamiSeaRise.com, has been amazing. And what I have learned, and what I want you to know, is that no matter your age, you can make a difference in your community. And what I have also learned, and this is extremely important, is that kids get it. We understand that smoke pouring out of a factory or a power plant or a car is unhealthy. We understand that we have to change our behaviors before it's too late. In this picture, for example, although only in third grade, these children had over 30 minutes of excellent, intelligent questions after my recent talk at their school. Like I said, kids get it. Now, before I end with you tonight, I need to also tell you that there are some real challenges towards solving this problem. And perhaps the biggest one is politics. If you and I are ever going to solve this problem, we must demand that our leaders help us. Even though I don't have a vote, let me give you an example of what I have done to show you that even children have a voice. Miami-Dade County has a $7 billion budget that's the money that our government spends on all sorts of things each year, and it's a lot of money. But when I first saw our mayor's proposed 2016 budget, a budget so large it takes up three books and is almost 1,000 pages long, 
I learned that it mentioned climate change in just one sentence near the end of the third book and did not plan to allocate any money towards the problem. Not even one dollar. I was so upset over the lack of action by our government that I decided to write some blogs about what was happening. And I'm happy to tell you that people read them, a lot of people, and they encouraged me, a teenager, to keep demanding that our government help. So I attended the county commission meeting, and I spoke in front of the entire commission and mayor. I told them that people want to see their leaders working on sea level rise solutions. I also demanded that the mayor revise his budget and allocate $1 million towards the problem. And do you know what he and the rest of the commission did as a result of people rising up and speaking out like I did? He agreed to budget $300,000 and created Miami-Dade's first chief sustainability officer. Now, $300,000 is not nearly enough, nor is the one million that I asked for. But it is a start, and it proves that each of us has a voice. By becoming involved, by demanding change, people will listen, even if it is a child talking or blogging or tweeting. But time is running out. We need to get started now. South Florida's environment is one of the most fragile on Earth. If you and I don't solve this problem, our coral reefs will become extinct. And places like Miami Beach, the Florida Keys, and the Everglades will disappear underwater forever. So I need your help. I need you to become involved, to speak up and out, because the time has come for our generation to solve this problem, to change old habits by getting rid of fossil fuels, to set politics aside, to invent new technologies. The time has come for our generation to decide whether we want our planet to sink or swim. Thank you.